The Imperial Army of the Empire of Japan, or the Dainippon Taikoku Rikugun, was the mainland fighting force of the Empire of Japan from the Meiji Restoration in 1868 until the fall of the Empire in 1945. It served in a total of 13 conflicts across the globe, some conflicts of which include the Boshin War, Sino-Japanese War and the Boxer Rebellion. Today, however, much like our previous videos, we'll be discussing the general structure, ranking system and roles and responsibilities of the Imperial Japanese Army. Now, I apologise for my, uh, my voice today, I have uh, quite a bad cold, so we'll just have to make do. Now, before 1868, the country of Japan had no official standing army. However, there were specialised groups of samurai controlled by the feudal lords, or in Japanese, the Tozama and Fudai Daimyo. These lords were then under the control of the Tokugawa shogunate. For reference, a shogunate is uh, where the country is basically ruled by a military leader. In this case, in Japan, the shogun was the de facto ruler of Japan instead of the emperor who was the de jure. He had basically no power. Now, the Imperial Japanese Army was first officially formed in 1868 after the fall of the Shogunate and the new Meiji Restoration government was put into place. I can discuss this further if any of you wish me to. The Imperial Japanese Army share many similarities with the German or Prussian military model. That is because the Meiji government hired Prussian generals and British admirals to train and help assist in the construction of the Japanese military. Now, the National Army was not actually founded officially until 1873, and it relied heavily on national conscription, which was set into place by the government. Many began to feel that a standing National Army would prove to be more useful in the field than specialised samurai forces controlled by feudal lords, which I'm sure we can all understand. Firstly, we have the rank of Grand Marshal of the Empire of Japan, or as it is known in Japanese, now please forgive my pronunciation, Dai Jensui Rikugun Taisho. Now this rank was not one that a normal individual could gain through experience in the military. This rank was solely bestowed upon the Emperor of Japan. In this case, the only holder of this rank could be the three emperors, Meiji, Taisho and Tenno. Just to note, the emperors were not actually named this, it was simply the period they ruled in and then they were nicknamed after. Decree number 252, dated September the 7th, 1872, made first official mention of the rank in Daijen Sui. However, no appointments to the rank were made before the rank was abolished, along with that of Jen Sui, on the 8th of May, 1873. However, in 1889, the emperor was officially titled this and placed as supreme commander of the army. Next, we have the title of Field Marshal, or Jensui Rikugun Taisho. This was the highest official rank that one could achieve within the Army of Japan. It was largely honorific title awarded for extremely meritorious service to the Emperor, thus similar to the French title of Marshal of France, and equivalent to a five-star rank such as Field Marshal in the British Army and General of the Army in the United States Army. The role itself was to command, well, a general army, or in other terms, an army group. Some of the notable people to hold these ranks include Prince Yamagasa Aritomo, Prince Oyama Luau, and Hajime Sugiyama. The rank of general, or Rekugun Taisho, was the most senior of the general officer grade of ranks. Its duties were various, from commanding an area army or an army corps, to serving on the army general staff, or acting as inspector general of the Imperial Japanese Army. One of the notable people to hold this rank was Hideki Tojo, the army general and fascist dictator of Japan during the Second World War. It could be recognised by three silver stars on a gold background which could be found on the neck or shoulder of the wearer. Next we have the rank of Lieutenant General or Rikigun Shujo which was the uh, middle rank of the general officer grade of ranks. Its role, much like its successor, was to command either an area army, an army corps, or an army division. It could be recognised by two silver stars on a gold background, which could be found on the neck or shoulder. Next, we have the rank of major general, or Rikugun Shusho, which was the lowest rank of general officer grade of ranks. The role of this rank is to command either an army brigade or division. Now, can you see the similarities between the Germanic European system and the Japanese system? It could be recognised by one silver star on a gold background which could be found on the neck or shoulder of the wearer. 
The rank of Colonel, or Rikugundhaisa, was the highest rank in the staff officer grade of ranks. The role of this rank was to command either a brigade or a regiment of the army, or perhaps serve on the staff of the army. It could be recognised by three golden or silver stars on a gold background with three red stripes, which could be found on the neck or shoulder of the wearer. Next, we have the rank of Lieutenant Colonel or Rikigun Chusa, which was the middle rank of the staff officer grade of ranks. Its role was to command either a regiment or a battalion, or much like the other officers, partake in administrative duties. It could be recognised by two golden or silver stars on a golden background with three red stripes, which could be found on the neck or the shoulder of the wearer. Lastly, we have the rank of Major, or Rikigun Shosa, which was the lowest rank of the Staff Officer grade of ranks. This rank's role was solely to command a battalion, or once again fill an administrative role. It could be recognised by one golden or one silver star on a gold background with three red stripes, which could be found on the neck or shoulder of the wearer. Next, we have the rank of Captain, or Rikugun Taiai. It was the highest rank of the company officer grade of ranks. This rank's role included, but were not limited to, company officer or battalion officer. It could be recognised by three golden or silver stars on a gold background with two red stripes, which could be found on the neck or shoulder of the wearer. Next are the lieutenant ranks, with the first lieutenant, or Rikigun Chuai, being the most senior, whilst the second lieutenant, or Rikigun Shoai, being the lowest. They both had overall command of a company platoon, and could be recognised by two or one golden or silver stars on a background with two red stripes, which could be found on the neck or shoulder of the wearer. Next is the Warrant Officer rank, or Rikigun Junai, which was only named such after the 15th of September 1940. Previously, it had been known as the rank of Special Duty Sergeant Major, or Tokumu Socho. Much like the lieutenant stated previously, their role was similar to that of a junior company officer, in that they would have overall command of a company or a platoon. Now, this rank could be recognised by no stars over a gold background with two red stripes, which could be found on the neck or shoulder of the wearer. The highest rank of the Japanese non-commissioned officers was the rank of Sergeant Major, or Socho. This role's command was that of an officer, or junior officer, in that they would command a platoon or a squad. They would also be the key line of communication between the officers and the troops serving under them. If you watched the right video I made recently, you can see this is somewhat different from the German Sergeant Major. It could be recognised by three gold stars over a red background with one golden stripe. The rank of sergeant, or Gunso, was the middle of the non-commissioned officers. It did not have one selected role, however, it had various ones, of course depending on the branch of service of the rank holder. The level of command of the sergeant was usually over a squad of 8 to 14 soldiers. It could be recognised by two silver stars over a red background with one golden stripe. The corporal, or the gocho, was the second lowest rank of the non-commissioned officers. Its role was similar to that of the previous rank in that it changes, but its overall command was a squad. It could be recognised by one silver star over a red background with a golden stripe. The lance corporal, or haicho, which meant leading soldier, was the lowest rank of the non-commissioned officers. The rank was also known as second corporal instead, or gocho kin mujotohe, which means senior soldier acting as a corporal. Its role was similar to the, that of the previous rank, in that it changes, but its overall command was a squad. The rank of superior private, senior soldier, or jotohe, was the highest enlisted rank of the IGA. It was the equivalent of an army specialist or senior private. It had no level of command over troops, and its role varied depending on the branch of service. It could be reckoned by three golden stars on a red background. The rank of Private First Class, or Soldier First Class, or Itohe, was the middle enlisted rank of the IGA. Like its successor and predecessor, it had no command troops over any branch of service, and could be recognised by two golden stars on a red background. Lastly is the rank of Private, or Nitohe, which means, really, no introduction. It's the Soldier Second Class, and was the lowest rank of the army. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I realise not many people actually request this, but um, you all seem to be entirely focused on the Russian military. But I find this to be particularly interesting, because I'm also studying Japanese history at the moment. Um, but I think I might leave military stuff for a short while and do some other historical stuff, like history on crack. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and hit the subscribe button. 
all the usual things that really help support this channel. I'll see you next video. Sayonara.